Welcome to my off-grid property. My name is Jim, and today I'm going to be showing you how I get water from the bottom of my well over to my cabin using just solar and a 12-volt system. One of the biggest challenges of being off-grid is having a reliable water source. A water source that doesn't require a lot of power, a lot of energy, a lot of fuel, a generator to run. This system that I designed is unique. I haven't seen anything else like it on YouTube. It's efficient. It's simple, it's cheap, and it just works. I'll leave links down in the description below to all the parts that I use. So if you want to build a system like this or a variation of it, you have that information. My water system starts about 125 feet down this well, where I have an eco-worthy 12-volt deep well pump that runs off of its own independent solar power system. At that depth, it only pumps about a gallon a minute, but that's all we need for this system. I installed a inline switch so I can turn that pump on and off anytime I wanted to. We don't actually winter up here at the cabin. So what I've designed here is a frost-free spigot. When I disconnect the rest of the system and winterize it, this spigot is always working. The way I made it frost-free is about nine feet down in the ground. I drilled a little tiny oblong hole that when I turn the switch on, it'll put water up through the spigot, and then when I turn it off, it drains back down through that hole below the frost line. The system is powered by two 100-watt panels. These panels are not permanently mounted yet. I wanted to actually try them out and see how they did in partial sun, and I get about an hour of sunlight a day that's directly on it. I wanted to see if that would keep the battery topped off or not. And surprisingly enough, because of how efficient this system is, is running, it actually keeps the battery topped off just fine. Those solar panels are connected to a battery that I keep in a Home Depot, it's just a small Home Depot tote underneath the system. I have a 100 amp hour lithium battery that powers the system. And we'll show you a little bit more of that here in a minute. Now let's get this cover off and I'll show you what I got going on underneath it. Underneath the cover is a standard 275 gallon food grade IBC tote. I picked this one up off of Marketplace for a hundred bucks, got it all cleaned up and it's the storage component to our water system. The IBC tote sits on top of some standard cinder blocks, creating a little bit of space for storage underneath. Here's a little better shot at that Home Depot tote that houses the battery that keeps it protected and out of the weather. Power comes from the solar panels over and up to a eco-worthy charge controller. This is a really basic solar power charge controller. Wires then go out to our batteries, keeping the batteries all topped off. It's a really basic solar power system. Batteries, charge controller, solar panels. Power to the pump comes from the battery up into this Romoris automatic water level controller. And this is the unique part of the system that I want to tell you about. So the way this little water level controller works is it controls the power to the pump and it has three sensors that go up and into the top of the tank. One sensor sits on the bottom of the tank. The other one you set at your low water level and the other one you set at your high water level. And I have this one set up to use about 50 gallons of water. So I'll use about 50 gallons. It'll hit that low water mark and then it'll fill up that 50 gallons till it hits the high water mark and then it'll shut off the pump. And what that does is keeps a continuous supply of fresh water going into this tank. So the water always stays pretty fresh and cold. And then it also doesn't put too much strain on my pump or on my battery, which keeps it running really efficiently. So it only has to fill 50 gallons instead of trying to fill a whole tank or running on a float where it's constantly being kicked on and off. This will only run, fill up the 50 gallons and then shut off. I attached a dual outlet spigot to the IBC tote that allows me to hook a hose up here if I need to. And then the other outlet connects to the water line that goes to the cabin. The water line runs about 100 feet from our water tank down here to this green irrigation box 
that houses our pressure pump. Inside here we have a Seaflow 12 volt pressure pump and this supplies our cabin with the water that we need. It runs our faucets and our toilet and meets all the water requirements that we have. And honestly, I have better pressure here at my cabin than I do at my house down in town. I installed an on-off switch so that I can shut it down after I winterize it. This runs off the power from the cabin. I installed this just outside of the cabin. And so it runs on the cabin's solar power system. I installed it out here mainly to have, the, have it be more quiet. Pressure pumps can be loud, so I wanted to have it out here so it'd be quiet. And I honestly wasn't sure how it would hold up. But this is actually the older part of our water system. And it's been running for a couple years like this now. And you can see down in here that there's a lid to a tank. Before we had our well, I buried a 50-gallon tank, connected it to this pressure pump, and that's what supplied our cabin with water. We would just use that 50 gallons, much like an RV. But it's been a great little pump and is holding up really well. So for a quick and simple recap, a basic solar power system runs the pump in the well. The pump in the well pumps water to the IBC water tank. The water level in the tank is controlled by the water level sensor. The tank's then connected to a pressure pump down at the cabin, and the pressure pump supplies the cabin with water. It's a very simple system. It's been very efficient. Even with the solar panels in the shade, it keeps the battery topped off and uh, it's been working really well. I've been using it for over six months now and I really wanted to give it a good test before I put it out here to you guys on YouTube, but it works. It's been set it and forget it. I turn the faucet on and water comes out. It's always cold. I know I'm always getting fresh water recirculated into the tank, which is very important. Now we don't use a ton of water out here and if you're off grid, you definitely understand the importance of water. We use maybe 50 gallons in a day but hopefully not even that. And so this pump only has to run for maybe an hour a day. If you're using a ton of water, of course your pump's gonna be needing to run longer. So you might need a little bigger solar power system. Uh, but out here for us, this has been working awesome. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you learned something and this inspired you to build something for yourself. If you'd like to see how I installed the pump in this well, you can check out this video right here. Thank you for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one.